Hello, just a few minutes to spend going over some chapter one homework problems. In the other chapters, I kind of break them up per problem, but we only have a couple of questions here, so let's go over them all at once. Um, the conceptual question, classical physics is a good approximation to modern physics under circumstances, certain circumstances. What are they? Well, modern physics um, will treat matter as both a particle and a wave, and that actually works for everything, but for something like an electron, the wave behavior is really significant and the particle behavior is less so. Whereas something the size of maybe a baseball, the particle behavior is very significant and the wave behavior is less so. So it turns out that the wave behavior um, doesn't really come into play so much if things are moving relatively slowly compared to that of the speed of light. Um, and so for the most part things that we deal with in everyday life are moving pretty slowly compared to the speed of light. All right, so then the actual problems. Um, number one, the speed limit on some interstate highways is roughly 100 kilometers per hour. What is this in meters per second and how many miles per hour is this? Um, a lot of times we'll want things in meters per second when we're dealing with things in physics. So what we have there is 100, how am I doing, kilometers per hour. What I want to do is ultimately convert um, kilometers into meters and hours into seconds. So kilometers into meters, 100 kilometers, if I want to get that into meters, I want to get kilometers here in the denominator to cancel out with this one, and I want meters in the numerator. There's 1,000 meters in one kilometer, so 100 times 1,000. I'm going to get a big number. 100 times 1,000 is a big number. Um, you're probably not shocked that it's going to be 100,000. So 100,000 meters per hour. Well, that's not what it was asking me for. It wasn't asking me for what is the velocity in meters per hour. It's asking me the velocity in meters per second. All right, so I have room up here, one hour. Well, one hour is 60 minutes. So I want to cancel out. So one hour is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes, got that part down. Um, 60 minutes, um, how many seconds are there in a minute? Wait, I can do this. Um, so one minute is 60 seconds. Minutes will cancel out. 60 times 60, I could break out my calculator if I wasn't sure, but I know that it's 3,600 seconds. All right, so back to here, 100,000 meters per hour. I want to cancel out hours. There's 3,600 seconds in an hour. I want hour here in my numerator because it wants to cancel out with the hours down there in the denominator. 36, oops, 3600 seconds. So 100,000 divided by 3600. And I get 27.7. And then it's like a repeating decimal. But, um, I don't have that many significant figures. You could argue that maybe I only have one significant figure here, but three is probably a good bet. So 27.7, maybe I want to say 27.8 meters per second. Whew, that was hard. All right, so the next part, um, if I did 100 kilometers per hour into miles per hour, maybe I want to erase all of that and just go here, um, convert kilometers into miles. Um, how many kilometers are there in a mile? Well, I don't know off the top of my head, but I can look it up. Ask, ask Google, it'll tell you. Um, one mile is 1.609 kilometers. 
kilometers will cancel out. And so 100 divided by 1.609, 1 and I get 62.2 miles per hour. Um, sorry, I went off the screen. All right, and then problem number 23. Problem number 23 says, if a marathon runner runs... Um, averages 9.5 miles per hour, how long does it take him or her to run a 26.22 mile marathon? All right, so what do we know? It's what all of this will be about. What do we know? What don't we know? We know a velocity. So we know the velocity is going to be 9.5 miles per hour. And I know a distance. The distance is going to be 26.22 miles. What I don't know is the time. Now there's an equation that we all knew before class started and that is distance equals velocity times time. So we're going to use that equation in this instance to solve this problem. Um, what I want to solve for is time. I want to get that all by itself, so I have to do some algebra. The algebra, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by velocity to get rid of it over here and to get it over here. So if I rewrite this, I'm going to say time equals distance divided by velocity. If I do that, distance um, 26.22 miles divided by 9.5 miles per hour. And I'm going to get an answer in hours. If I do this on my calculator, I get 2.76 hours. That's a pretty fast marathon. Um, all right, that's the chapter one homework. Uh, hopefully it's not too challenging for you. Just get your feet wet, get you going on this. Have fun!